Hello, welcome back. My name is John Moffat and you've tuned in to The Art of Leadership, Program 2 of the series of segments. This one is called Basic Skills. Today I'm going to share with you a few little tidbits that if you use them as the laws for thinking and speaking and doing as a leader, improve your batting average and keeping your followers with you, um, ending up where you want everyone to end up uh, with all the benefits that will be gained for everyone. One of the first things I would say that as a leader, avoid being negative with other people. Um, avoid arguments with others because no one ever really wins an argument. Uh, the only people who win an argument are the ones that don't have them. Um, sometimes you can shoot your mouth off and feel you really feel better after that and you told them what was what, but you forget as a leader that maybe they've just decided to dive off that train rather than stay on the journey with you and uh, you have one less resource to help you along the way. Playing games like blemish where you criticize other people or ain't it awful where you condemn uh, a group of people or see what you made me do, complaining about how other people are the, the cause of the mistakes, really don't help anybody. If there's been a problem and you've messed up, hit your fist on the table and said, I messed up, um, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Let's see what we can do about this, rather than escalating an argument about who's to blame. Finally, it's important to begin in a friendly way when you're dealing with people instead of a negative way. Smile. One of the biggest tips I can give anybody is, is uh, the look on your face. Some people wear um, a look on their face that suggests to others, uh oh, you know, here comes trouble. It's more important uh, what you wear on your face than what you wear on your back. So start with smiling. Start with looking at the good points about others and it's amazing how your voice and your body actions will change to show that. Give good news to other people. Instead of being the bearer of bad news, look for ways of finding people doing something right. Tell them about it and then tell some other people about it so it gets back to them over the next few days. Uh, that's far better than uh, playing some of the other games like Ain't It Awful. Instead of that, why don't you play Ain't It Great? Look at what we've done together. Look at what you've done. Look at what you've accomplished. You're daring people to be great when you do that. You're giving them an opportunity to live up to their reputation. And what we know in the field of uh, social psychology and industrial psychology is people will live up or down to the reputation that you give them and that they seem to feel others give them. So uh, begin in a friendly way. Give good news. Play games like Ain't It Great. Understand that most people in life, whether they show it or not, uh, are tuned into the radio station MMFIAM. Make me feel important about myself. Looking for opportunities to do that makes a winner out of everybody on the train that you want to stay with you. Third thing to keep in mind is uh, to motivate from the inside out. Uh, what that means is you don't uh, make people or encourage people to do things because you said so. What you do is offer them opportunities to reflect on the benefits to gain that they'll have if they uh, stay on the train ride with you and achieve that end point that you've so uh, attractively designed for them. Um, dare them to be great. Understand that uh, folks, if they're not tuned into the radio station MMFIAM, make me feel important about myself. Most people are also tuned into the radio station WIIFM. What's in it for me? So describe in a very attractive way what's in it for them, uh, the benefits, uh, the positive things and the consequences if, if things don't go well and the train doesn't reach uh, its end point. Those are some basic skills. Be Avoid negative, um, negative talk and negative interactions with people if at all possible. Find ways of being positive with others. Uh, look for the right things they're doing and tell them all about it and tell others about it. And finally look at motivating people not from your point of view but from their point of view. Look at how they see the world and then using their lens about the things that are important to them, show them how guiding uh, the way that you want them to be guided, they're going to end up uh, with things that really matter to them, benefits for them to gain. Thank you. My name is John Moffat. These were just a few general easygoing laws for uh, leadership that can be applied in a variety of circumstances. Our next program is going to get a little more specific on how to deal with other people in your home, community and work environment. How to guide them, how to persuade them, um, how to create a wonderful, happy experience for all of you. I'll see you again. Thank you for being with me.